Robert Gooding Townsend. Questions from the judges? Although the hypothesis was uh, very intriguing, your, your data set admittedly had a relatively low N, and I'm, I'm curious about whether you're considering extending your research uh, to bolster the size of the data set, and in particular, if you were to sample people here in the local geographic area, would, would you predict, if you compare students at the different colleges and schools here, MIT, Harvard, BU, Tufts, and so on, that there would be a a correlation between alcohol consumption and, and brain size? <laughs> it's not necessarily the case that there would be a direct correlation since this is a selection factor acting over evolutionary time. That said, we would still like to gather more data for this hypothesis and would be willing to recruit participants any night they want. <laughs> I only want to say you should have no problem finding sponsors for that research. <laughs> you, you took your data from Canada? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that is correct. <laughs> I'd, I'd be interested to see what this study might look like in Jamaica. <laughs> or, you know, or, or a culture where there's another stimulant involved. Do you, to do that, we'd certainly have to have a two-factor analysis or more, though, I mean, we could. I hadn't considered that since many stimulants haven't been with us for as much evolutionary time. As, you could, as we saw in the first slide, that mutation that enabled us to consume ethanol, or at least to metabolize it efficiently, was 10, 000, uh, 10 million sorry, years old. And I'm simply not sure that's the case with any of the other various substances that human cultures consume across the world. Um, I'm a Canadian as well, so I just, I just felt like I should <laughs> pipe up. Um, so our, our beer has a higher alcohol content. Would you say that that correlates with our intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> so this, as I said, this is a theory that is taking place over evolutionary time. It is not necessarily the case that higher alcohol content immediately leads to more intelligence. However, centuries and generations from now, this effect should be large enough to enable Canada to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Gooding Townsend. <laughs> 